What's going on everybody? Welcome for the first time. We're back to another DLJ Works video and this video is all about customizing any theme on your Uscreen platform. Now I go in depth on my Uscreen Quick Start course that's located in my Gumroad account. Link is in the description. But I want to provide some free information to you on just setting up your theme even without purchasing this course. But if you want to get something more in depth, please check out the link to sign up for you screen and my quick start course so you can set up your whole entire platform for a to z at a very affordable cost of 24.99 link in the description below but as always you can also go to my youtube account if you're already very familiar with this platform and to just kind of go ahead and go through my library and figure things out for yourself uh without further ado let's go ahead and let's get started when you're customizing your theme, you don't really need to, the really probably only thing you really need to worry about here on this side, all right, is first pick your theme. Right now, we're going to go with the Polaris theme that's that you see that's already here, it's already installed, all right, and I'm going to kind of go over the, the changes that I've already made and kind of teach them to you. Pages you don't need, really need to worry about right now uh, because of most of your links that's going to be in the menu as you see right here in this little thumbnail here is all going to be provided from your content all right now when you get into pages if you're trying to do a landing page or you're trying to do something more custom or that has some copywritten stuff on there that, that's to sell for guest visitors for people who are, who are part of a cold market then that would be probably one of the purposes for creating your own page all right but we're not going to worry about that we're not going to worry about using a code editor for now nor the code snip is nor assets and I also have a video talking about assets as well so you can get a better understanding of that here in YouTube so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to customize and when we get here there's going to be a drop down and it's just already because the only thing we have right now we don't have any additional other pages so we're just going to go to customize page but if you want to know what's what the rest of these things are as you scroll down it allows you to upload your logo um, Logo, login page side banner you want to actually create the image in 1130 by 1400 okay your watching experience you can use the new video player that they provide you can decide how you want your videos to look and this is all going to be on the storefront let me actually open that up I'm gonna right click and open this up so you can kind of see that there's a difference between the theme the front theme and what your subscribers are going to see these are this is what people who are already paying customers of yours what they're going to see on the back end all right and there's a way to customize all this but we're not going to get into that right now at this moment we're only going to focus on the front visual theme the first thing that your guest visitors are going to land on all right people who are not subscribed to you and then also people that are subscribed to as well but more than likely they'll be signing in and going directly to the content because they seen it all done it all within this all right now the first thing that we have here is we have the header. We have the header area and the hero banner. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. We have the header area and the hero banner. So where it says description, you can go ahead and put something. Uh, if you have a copywriter, put some text here that's going to sell your customers, your um, guest visitors, visitors even more on your site. Uh, I have some very basic standard stuff here. Uh, tomorrow's for the taken thousands of classes to help you do your best work so this platform right now in the way that is customized is tailored towards an educational audience all right this is a course base and most of the time people who are using this platform are using it to provide some sort of course so that's what this is going to be uh, mostly geared towards but it's also for people who have want to provide their own entertainment content wherever the, the options are, are at this point almost limitless but for now, we, we got the text that's directed more towards people who are looking to learn something. All right. So everything is pretty much self-explanatory. Jump into the action is what I actually titled that button. But you can easily change that and put um, join now something basic. But if you want to stand out, you want to you don't want to go too far. If you want to put something that's familiar to people in terms of how their browsing experience um, that's more familiar to them or you want to put something that's going to really stand out and make sense for your brand all right and then you can actually link this button here to go to join page all right or whatever other link that you're trying to do as well so I'm actually cancel nope I don't want to cancel we don't we just want to go ahead and 
trying to click off. No, we just leave that join page. Okay. Now you notice here that this is just a plain button there. There, there is no hover effect or anything like that. Uh, not like you see here with this. So there's ways that you can actually go about making this do something different. That's going to actually require some CSS code um, in terms of making your buttons um, hover and, and have these special effects. I'm not going to go into this now because I'm trying to keep this as no code as possible. But if you want to learn some coding tricks, I also have that in my course as well to kind of show you how to do some, some things that's different for your platform, for your theme. The hero banner. Oh, still, okay. We don't need to go there. We need to actually go to promoted categories. Here we go. Now, with the promoted categories, what? let me kind of explain this to you in terms of how this works. So the category that I actually have on my back end as set up, you need to set up your content first. You need to organize that before you even touch your theme. And it's important that you go into that order because it's going to help you make certain decisions in terms of what you want here on your page. So the category that I actually selected here is adventure because that's the category I just made up. And then I have another button here that's just dive in to kind of reflect the content coincide with the content that you actually see here. And just the stock title, unlimited access to all content. So if you got something specifically that you want to promote, maybe you can use this to weekly update what new content that you're putting up on your website, what feature content that you have, like right after you get past the hero banner. Um, but if you're looking for people to just actually just, just come in, see this top part right here and just join, you want them to sign in, you don't want them to take any other actions. You can easily click, turn this button off. All right. You can turn off all of this if you want to, to be honest with you. And you can just have this top part and then just make your stuff strictly like a Netflix, a Hulu, where they, they have access to no content whatsoever. Get rid of all these links. And your only option is join now or sign in. If you're a returning, paying subscriber, sign in. If you're not, go ahead and join right now. But that would assume that the work, in order for them, for you to reach that point, the marketing and everything else, the relationship building, like capturing your your subscribers is up has been done on other platforms. It's been done externally, maybe on YouTube, maybe on Twitter, maybe you've been doing some engaging otherwhere, uh, elsewhere in forums. I don't know where wherever work has been done. The only way that you can actually probably get away with that is unless there's been some great marketing going on uh, in other places. All right, so. That will be my reasoning for that. So I'm gonna turn this actually back on and we're going to go back. So program limits, you can actually choose the number of, of pieces of content videos you want to show up here. I chose three right now. I can only have three videos uploaded for this category. Now, this section right here is going to be more so the, the, the copy that's actually written here is to more so quickly explain what your learners, your viewers, whatever you want to call them, your subscribers are going to get out of your content and what other things they'll be able to do if they join your platform. They, you have a community going on. Um, what, what is the purpose of your content? This, this right here, now this is just the examples that it's actually showing, all right? So you can actually use this area in terms of just promoting that and you could change most of these, the, the information here in these text boxes, all right? Each one has the recommended size for the background images, 1,000 by 1,500. And you could just change the information over here, over here. They, they provide an easy way for you to do that. Now, if you want to actually adjust your photos as quickly and as easy as possible, there is a website called PhotoP, which is basically a Photoshop clone, a free Photoshop clone online, behaves and acts just like Photoshop. And you can actually just create the recommended sizes that you want to make the adjustments as necessary using this website. All right. If you click new project, you'll be able to actually change the dimensions into what's being recommended here in this section. So you can just change all your information, your wording, everything else, all here in these description blocks. Now, testimonial area. If you have some YouTube comments, some Twitter tweets, you don't have to have anybody email to you directly. Use your social media. Use your social credit that's already out there. The credibility that people have already given you by saying, 
what their your content has done for them use that information and just post it up here it's already public so you can just go ahead and just copy and paste it here i've already made this point here by just making up a, an imaginary person this is a youtube subscriber named them johnny blaze guy with the glasses we love the content that dlj works has produced on youtube and across other areas online we want to get even more concise instruction information from him and you can make those changes by putting the actual testimony here in the quote section uh company name where, where is the person i use the company name to actually say state where that actual quote came from who this person actually is so i use it as an identifier then i put the author's name here for that testimony and then you will put the image here which is recommended 170 by 170 for a pixel size and once you get done with that you'll go ahead and hit save so let's go back not testimonials but all platforms now one unique thing that you can actually do here is you can actually upload a gif here to you screen you can upload a gif here to this section uh i would actually suggest maybe if you have a, a you don't want to just put any gif animation up here because it's going to be more distracting than actually being purposeful but if it serves the purpose of really how should i say showcasing what your content is all about maybe it could um it could demonstrate as a standard trailer, a micro trailer, all right? A re-looped micro trailer that will actually show highlights or highlight reel. That's perfect. A highlight reel of all of your content within and under about a 30 second time frame is, is probably as good as you need it to. Right now, this is only about five seconds, five to seven seconds, if I remember correctly. Reloop waterfall, uh, because we're we're focusing on, I don't know, this is an educational channel about rock climbing or something like that. <clears throat> as you can see i have the same picture background here but in order to add this picture as you know there's no way that you can actually add an image to this background and this actually is done through css so i have to actually add this image using the background function under css but there's nothing here in the configuration a basic configuration area for you to actually add that all right so that's something that you want to keep in mind but with the gifts you can actually just upload it here as I've done right here in this section where it says remove image. And also here, you don't have to have all these links here. If you're not, if your information is not going to be available on any of these tools, any of these devices like Android, uh, Apple TV or Roku or anything for that matter, uh, then you could just go ahead and turn all of this off. Or you can just turn off this whole content area uh, easily. So very simple. And then lastly, the last part right here, which is the join block. So we're here with this video URL, you can see that I actually pulled the video from Vimeo just to kind of showcase that you don't have to use an embedded YouTube player. You can use YouTube, but there's other video players that you can actually use. Heck, if you have your own like video player, you want to like show it here not only demonstrate that you have your own content, but you also have your own technology players to be done here, then you can actually embed that right here on this section. Now, Screencast-O-Matic, this is actually what I'm using to record and make these videos. I've been using this since 2018. They've actually have a, a account, a premier account that you can actually upgrade to and you can actually create your own, you can actually create your own video player. So here's the solo premiere upgrade that you can actually do and you can have your own customized video player with your own logo on it uh, and any color that you want to. I'm pretty sure it's going to be some other changes that you can actually make, but you'll be able to customize this in a way that it's going to be befitting for your brand. So you may want to also check out screencast Omatic in order to be able to not only use their screen recording software, especially if you're an educator of some sort you're doing some training online courses you don't want to have youtube's brand or vimeo's brand on anywhere on your theme you want this to be all you you want your own character you want your own presentation your own presence not having some third party usage up on your theme so if, if you're wanting to go that down that direction i would recommend also going with screencast somatic also link to them as well and i've been like i said i've been using them since 2018 and they provide you with a video editor to to really 
edit your video spotlessly right there on the spot as soon as you're done recording. So I highly recommend them as well. All right, now getting back to this, you have the join us. You have the title here that you can finalize. So after the person has gone through the story of from the top past the all devices and your your guests, your visitors are finally ready to join you. They can just read this little information here, some copy that you have written here and what, what your uh, content is more so about and what they'll get from it and create a sense of urgency. So these are some things that you want to actually keep in mind in terms of how to serve your guests and to convert a cold audience member all right to a hot audience member i know they like to say warm but it's either cold or hot there's, there's no in between right now so all this is just warming them up so they could become hot for your your content if they're a guest visitor so there's so much that you can actually do with the theme and to really make some changes so your seo settings are pretty um standard pretty self-explanatory this will actually show up in the html that you have here once you actually have this saved up and i can actually show you what that's going to look at and actually i can show you that right now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just open link a new tab oh that that took me in because i'm still signed into let me sign out of that all right there we go i need to sign out of the storefront so you can see it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go view page source and i'm going to look for a title so i'm going to control f title all right uh, let me see here we're going to look for there it is there it is right there dlj works streaming platform and that's going to come from the information that you put here in this section dlj works streaming platform so you know that when you make these seo changes this is where it's going to show up in the code so google can index it it can read it and know what your website is all about and also page description too isn't going to be far off from that area and the description is actually right here this is a technology streaming platform that provides educational content for building websites and such as you put right here so you want to be very strategic and just use the keywords that's that reflect what your website is about it can rank high in google in a way that you would want it to all right so finally let's go down the footer if you have your social media it'll show up here in this corner I've actually used some code to actually make the powered by um, powered by you screen to disappear, but I, I don't know if you have to really get permission from you screen in order to actually use code to do that. But that is the workaround that you want to actually do is to actually use some CSS code or some jQuery to actually make this go away. Uh, right now, it's just hidden. It hasn't really been totally removed or deleted. Um, so for SEO indexing purposes, Google will still be able to read it on a back end code because it's still there but it's hidden with the style guide of using css um to just make it display as none so it could disappear or be hidden for right now but the code is actually still there just hidden uh you can also have redeem a gift card buy a gift card all links that you can make available through the navigation and then you also can link out and put another website a custom link if you want to i think i had this link out to i should have this code it's opened up in a new tab here so let me check this out here on this side and this i just have this connected to my dlj works youtube channel you're going to save your progress and then you're going to go ahead and be taken back when you're done setting up your payments you got everything finalized all your content uploaded everything else just hit publish on that bad boy and you're ready to go where your website is going to be present and available just like this now in terms of the url if you have your own custom domain that you want to actually use and you don't want it to say um, such as such dot screen dot io then you can just redirect that domain all right you can just have it your main domain replace that by just using it some different hosting in terms of making that actually go away all right so that is going to be it for this video in terms of you actually in terms of you actually just customizing your website all right um if there's any other questions that you actually want to actually ask me please leave a comment below and i'll be more than happy answering it if you need help setting up your U screen platform also available to you uh, 50 dollars consultations 
you know, a simple phone call can actually solve a lot of your issues without you having to spend so much money trying to get a web developer or anything like that and just answer certain questions that you actually need to take time to actually do so. Um, so I would actually recommend that as well and just hit me up in that regard. But I'm, I'm here to answer any questions too in the comments section below as best as I can. And depending on the scope of the question, we'll decide if we need to renegotiate something differently if it's something I can't just simply answer within the comments section. So like I said, just leave some feedback. If you have any questions, leave it below. And I look forward to talking to you guys. That is it for this video. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. The Uscreen Quick Start course is now available for $24.99. This course is going to take you for all the way from the beginning of the introduction to uploading content, creating collections, all the way down to setting up and finalizing your payments and selecting your merchant accounts. Many people do not know where to start with Uscreen, even though Uscreen makes things very easy, but there are still questions. There's still a process that people aren't really sure in terms of what they need to do to make sure they can make this process as seamless as possible. And Uscreen does a great job in providing resources, but this course is going to streamline all of that and take you from A to Z so you don't have to have so many questions and doubts and going through the trial and error of setting up your platform. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them at dljworksforyou at gmail.com and also leave me a review if you are finding this content be super helpful so that way we can get it out to more people who also can also use this course as well.